Gentlemen, start your engine. We need to bring Victory Lane back right now. This isn't nostalgia talking. This is simple logic. Drivers race for one thing and one thing only, which is to win. They most likely all grew up of not only taking the checkered flag as the crowd roared for them, but also driving their car into victory lane. The thing is, victory lane is hollowed grounds. Every single driver who makes a start gets to drive on the track. Whether they make one lap and finish last, or lead every lap and win, they all race on the same track. Victory lane, one driver gets to go there, and that's the winner of the race. It is exclusive. You have to work extremely hard for it your entire life, and even then, sometimes it just doesn't happen. The only difference between being interviewed on the front stretch after winning and in the pits after finishing maybe like second or third is just a couple hundred feet. There's nothing special about the front stretch, nothing unique. Victory Lane, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. The most important factor to me is that the race winner is out there on the track with a pit road reporter. That's it. The problem with that is that NASCAR is a team and family sport. Always has been, always will be. There is absolutely nothing like watching a driver climb out of their car in victory lane with their family and team behind them as they all celebrate their achievement together. Yes, there are some instances of families or teams celebrating on the front stretch, but again, that is just some. These team members of the race winners put their heart and soul into their jobs. All they want to do is win. Why are we robbing them of the opportunity of letting them celebrate their accomplishments together? Victory Lane also just always seems so natural once the winner climbed from their car. Watching the winner pump their fist as Victory Lane was full of people who helped get that car to those hollowed grounds was priceless. Now, we're unfortunately stuck with a very unnatural and somewhat forced feeling interview. The pit road reporter sometimes awkwardly begins the interview and questions are usually the same on a weekly basis. The passion behind the driver's words are just not the same. Heck, we even have been left with some moments where the driver's being interviewed and the pit road reporter is still in the camera shot. The driver should always be the focus. I know the move was made to give the fans in the stands a better experience, but it makes the experience for the drivers, teams, families, and people watching on TV 20 times worse. Although some feel that Victory Lane was the one that got stale and started to feel like a joke, The majority of fans, drivers, and everyone in between would do anything to get Victory Lane back on a weekly basis. One morning in April, I woke up and I was thinking about Victory Lane. I tweeted a video of Joey Logano climbing from his car after winning the Daytona 500. I attached these words with the video. I'll forever miss Victory Lane interviews. There's just something about watching a car drive into Victory Lane. The anticipation of them climbing out of his car for the first time with their entire team right there cheering and celebrating with them doesn't feel forced absolutely perfect to me. I'm pretty sure that those words could resonate with all of us. Think about it. Imagine your favorite driver winning a race, watching them drive into victory lane, climb out of their car for the first time, everyone standing around cheering and celebrating. It just feels right. Dale Earnhardt Jr. quickly responded and backed up what we're all feeling. He tweeted back, Have to agree that this does more for me than the often awkward front stretch interviews. The first thing a driver usually wants to do after taking the checkered flag is get to his crew to celebrate. It is a special moment. The thing I always appreciate about Dale's words is that he's a little bit of everything. He is a former driver. He's a current broadcaster. He is a team owner, but most of all, he is just a fan and just wants NASCAR to succeed. His words are always genuine and doesn't just say things that others want to hear or that necessarily reflect others' opinions. His tweet backing Victory Lane interviews is just that. He could have been the quote-unquote network guy and backed those front stretch interviews, but he didn't. He said what he truly felt is most important for the sport. I know the majority of all of us want the same thing. We can only hope that those in control listen and take his powerful words and the voice of all of the fans seriously because the day that Victory Lane interviews return will be an incredible day for NASCAR fans, drivers, team members, families, and everyone watching at home. And you're riding into the most precious piece of property there is in stock car racing, Victory Lane.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and make sure to take a moment to subscribe to our channel to ensure that you get all of our newest videos as soon as they're uploaded.